This video aims to answer most people's questions about SE Linux and should they disable it or how it works or if it's interfering with a program that you've installed. So let's start out. There's basically three basic options for SE Linux. There's enforcing, permissive, and disabled. And by default, Fedora, CentOS, and Red Hat all come with it enforcing. This is actually a good thing as most programs are compatible with SE Linux. However, if you're downloading a program and running to some issues, there's a possibility it could be SE Linux interfering with it. So I'm gonna break down the commands and show you my terminal and how you'd go about troubleshooting that, modifying it, um, and also moving forward or even changing it to disabled or permissive should you want to monitor what that program is doing or if it's from an unknown source. Okay, to start out here, let's go ahead and open up our terminal. And the first thing you need to be doing is checking to see if it is enabled. We do this by doing se status. And you'll see it is actually enabled and in it's in permissive mode right now, meaning it's not enforcing. So if something were to happen and SE Linux was going to actually prevent an action in permissive mode, instead of stopping that program from working or having that action taken, it allows it, but it logs it. Now, if you completely disable, it won't log it. So that's the difference between permissive and disabled. So let's see if anything is actually triggered off. There's a command that we use. It's an au search command that I'm going to paste into here. This will show us anything in the logs. And I've been running for several days now in permissive. And as you see, um, actually, that one, we need to run it as sudo. So we get it. And there is no matches. So we actually, SE, trigger, SE Linux hasn't been triggered by any program that's installed on my system thus far. So to set this to enforcing again, all we need to do is actually modify uh, the SE Linux config. So we can do that by first running a super user and then I'm gonna use nano, you can use vim or you know, pick your flavor. SE Linux forward slash config. And from here you can see permissive is set. Now, if you wanna just kinda of test out enforcing, there's also another command you should be aware of. It's called set enforce one. Pseudo set enforce ones. I'm having pseudo problems tonight. <laughs> All right, so if we go se status, and you'll see it is actually current mode is enforcing. However, the mode in the config file is permissive, which basically means on next reboot, it would switch back to permissive. Now, obviously we can just come back to here and set it at zero. And you'll see here it's moved it back to permissive. And this is basically how you would look to see if SE Linux is interfering with any programs you have. And if you should maybe set it to permissive or even disabling it altogether, that is completely up to you. However, it, it does provide a level of security. So I do recommend leaving it at least in permissive um, if you have any issues. I left an article from open source in the description. I highly encourage you guys to check that out. It has a real detailed description on how you'd modify programs for SE Linux to let certain actions through. But I didn't want to get into that today. This was mainly just for a broad overview to get you acquainted for SE Linux. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrystitus.com.